this it forensic analysis. My name is Warwick Gandhi. And I'm Professor Xavier Buddha. Thanks for coming! I'm Officer Ramirez. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. You too. So, tell us what you know already. We know the victim's name was Vic Armstrong, age of 20. However, we don't have any more information on his personal history at this time. Do you know anything about his cause of death? We have been able to determine that we have found the bruises on his upper, upper torso and head. And we also know he has a stab wound located uh, near the neck, which indicates that there was in fact a sign of struggle. Thank you for your time. No problem. So, what do you think? Well, I think we should go back to the lab before we decide anything, really. Once again, thank you. Where'd he go? Hi, guys! Oh, I can't believe I forgot to say this. Oh, I'm such an idiot. There are markings by the body that look like what could be a dying message. And it spells out noble. We have no idea what it means yet, but when we figure it out, we're sure it'll lead us to the killer. To the lab. Well, let's get started. Yeah. Oh, of course, you're that new intern. Well, just ask me, what do you want to know? So, uh, how much do I get paid? Well, on your first year here as an intern, you'll get paid 65000 at the end of this year. Um, well, do you want to know anything else? Yeah, I do, actually. Um, how would I get promoted in this field? Um, oh, and uh, where would I work other than, uh, you know, here where we are now? And uh, how much money do I get for promotion? Well, to get promoted, your supervisor must believe you worked to the extent needed to be promoted into the same field as them. Uh, into a supervisor. An analyst will be promoted to a supervisor and then to a coroner, as myself. Um, other people that work in the forensics field are detectives and, uh, and officers, if you're interested in that. We're employed by the RCMP, Canada Revenue Agency, and the provincial government. As a coroner, at the end of the year, you will make up to 90000 I got one more question for you. How do we do the autopsy? Good question, good question. Okay, well, I guess I might as well show you. And that, in turn, is how you do an autopsy. So what next? Well, I believe it's time for a research montage. <laughs> Hey Warwick, what'd you find? Well, I found that uh, our victims worked at McDonald's. That's very interesting. It is. Yes, yes it is. Hey, uh, Xavier, how's it going? It's going good, good. 
How is the research coming along? It's going good. I found out that uh, our victim was of Italian descent, hence his name, Vic. Ah, that's that's quite a good finding. Hey, look. We got a message from Ramirez. What's it say? According to Officer Ramirez, we have our suspects. It seems as if the officer has given me a list of suspects, and there are three of them. Of them, we have a known hitman named Earl. He seems to have some kind of encounter with the victim the day before the murder. How are you? You forgot your knife. Uh, okay, thanks. Our second suspect was a big guy. He was huge, and... He had a history of being rough with other customers. Excuse me, can I get some service here? One moment. And he was known to have a bad relationship with the victim. Hey dude. We have a bad relationship. Last guy we had was some guy that the victim just happened to know. There's no real reason why he's suspected. Ramirez says here that he just had a feeling. So here we have suspects 1, 2, and 3. We have Earl, age unknown, and real name unknown. Here we have... The Rock, as he likes to call himself, age 22. And lastly, we have Alfonso, wimpy guy, age 27. So do you have any idea who it could be? Oh, well, I think there's a good chance it could be that Earl guy. He is, um, he is a known hitman, and he could have just killed uh, Vic because... He is a hitman and was hired to do so. Now, if we look at his name too, it is Earl, and in the earlier centuries, Earl meant noble, noble men. So maybe that's what the message could mean. Let's go get him. Well, you see, why would he write Noble if his name's Earl? Earl is only four letters, whereas Noble is five, so it's not really time efficient if you ask me. Hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. And also, if you look at one of our other suspects, Mr. Alfonso, you'll see that he has an Italian name also, which also stands for Noble. Oh, it's another message from Ramirez. Says. Oh. Well, it appears that they've ID'd the murder weapon and it has Alfonso's fingerprints on it. I guess you were right, intern. Pretty good. Let's go. There he is! Can't let you do this! Oh, we got a camera!
What is this? I'm out of gas! Oh, Shell is so unreliable!